I say with confidence that Matt and I are experienced diggers and we have a high success rate in rescues. Except for with Mamesia forcata, which is really strange because it's only about one in four rescues that we find a queen. We find ourselves collecting hundreds and in some cases over a thousand ants and what seems to be beyond ridiculous amounts of brood. And yet despite spending an entire day, and I'm talking from sunrise to sunset, and in one instance, we even spent three days digging every single chamber and then knocking down walls and going all the way down till we hit the water. We sometimes don't even locate our very obvious queen. When we collect, we separate our eggs from the rest of the ants and brood so they don't get stuck to the oil in the container. When we can't find our obvious queen with the colonies, we remove the brood and we use it to brood boost colonies that we are going to be selling. What we've been noticing though is that in the next day or two we've returned to these colonies that we've stripped of brood and there are eggs laid. Don't be fooled by Annie's colony here though, we did leave a few little tiny larvae in there. These haven't come from eggs that have hatched. So now this has got us questioning, have we got an ergotoid queen here? Or are these trophic eggs that have been laid as like a last ditch attempt to continue the colony? We've been picking up so many of these nests lately and we've got no capacity to keep them and follow through the life cycle to see are these ergotoid queens. We don't charge for removals and we're currently dealing with a property that has a major infestation of forvacata nests. So we're offering these nests at a really low price of $150. You can spend more money on a girl on a night out and still not get a guaranteed lay. Now, if you are watching this video on a Facebook group, Whatever you do, do not comment on the group about this because you will get the group shut down if you're discussing sales on a Facebook group. Message us privately about this. For the same price as a queen, you can get a whole colony of ants. For a small additional charge, we can even do a brood boost to ensure you'll get even longer with a colony, even if there isn't an ergotoid queen. We don't post brood as it can go gross in the mail and turn moldy. But as Australia is progressing into some cooler months, we can look at the weather forecast and look at the predicted weather for the expected duration of the transit. Our contact details are as follows. Facebook, Hunter Valley Ants, or you can get us at huntervalleyants at hotmail.com.